I would like to call to the podium the valedictorian representing the College of Arts and Sciences, Banaz Ghazi. Good evening, Your Excellencies and distinguished guests. Standing before you today, I am breaking through some of my barriers. I'll be honest with you, when the opportunity of becoming the valedictorian presented itself, I hesitated at first, and not because I didn't want it, but because the thought of standing here before all of you was so nerve-wracking for me. You know, as an introverted person, I tend to avoid the spotlight and enjoy much quiet time by myself. I was obsessed by my fears, but much stronger was the fear of regret. I knew that if I turned this down, I'd always look back and wonder what if. So fueled by that realization, I chose to push past my comfort zone and embrace this opportunity. And here I am. Growing up, I was a really curious person with many hobbies. I found joy in many activities, from drawing and painting to journaling, reading, and watching a lot of TV. That's how I picked up English at a young age. Eventually, I started watching shows in other languages, such as anime and Korean dramas, and became really interested in their culture and started listening to their music. I even learned the Korean alphabet. I also learned knitting, and I made a small bunny. I even started to play the piano. Then, realization hit me that we can learn anything we're passionate about through platforms like YouTube. We live in an era when the opportunity for learning has never been easier. Inspired by the ease of access to knowledge and my wide-ranging interests, I decided to focus my creativity on interior design at AUK. Here, I gained skills in applying innovative concepts to both residential and commercial spaces, employing sustainable practices and improving functionality and efficiency. My dream project would be to design a huge library with sustainable features and a perfect blend of quiet spaces for reading and social spots for gathering. But pursuing such a vision requires courage and stepping beyond the familiar. Tonight, I took that step, and accomplishing this gives me a sense of triumph. I step towards becoming the best version of me. I've let opportunities slip simply because I was afraid of change. But if I want to grow and succeed, then I must be prepared to face discomfort. I urge you to find the courage to embrace discomfort as well, as life begins at the end of our comfort zone. Let's be challenged to grow, learn, and embrace the unknown. And if I can do it, then so can you. Kurdistan can too be as courageous as I was tonight. Thank you.